Ladies and gentlemen, these guys got girls who love saying "ere." Yup, today we're going to see 10 action and romance shows where the badass girl is obsessed with the guy. Strap your seatbelts and let's go. Number 10, Akiba's Trip, the animation. <laughs> You know what happens when you combine vampires with the apocalypse? You get a show like this. And this time it isn't normal vampires. We have vampiric cosplay monsters. And how does our main character plan to defeat them? With a baseball bat. Yeah, it's that simple. Corner the enemy and hit him with a baseball bat and try getting the attention of the badass girl so you can automatically get a bodyguard. <laughs> Yes, that's right. For the first time in anime history, we have an anime about defeating the impending apocalypse with baseball bats and short skirts. Apart from the great animation and weirdly changing tone and pacing, we've also got tons of references about games, vampires, and maid cafes. And of course, since this is anime we're talking about, fan service is sprinkled to the top as well. Number 9, Yusibu. Yeah! Now, this was based on a light novel because the longer title is Yusibu, I couldn't become a hero, so I reluctantly decided to get a job. Yep, yeah, this is about the daughter of the Demon King taking a job in a retail shop. Now, let me just back up and explain things a bit. In Yusibu, our protagonist kills the Demon Lord at the very beginning of the anime and then decides to work in an electronic shop. Soon, a demon girl dressed as a boy comes to work in the same shop and surprise, surprise, it's our Demon Lord's daughter. <laughs> Apart from the romance, there is tons of comedy in here as well. The action comes a bit later when the show starts to get serious about the Demon Lord stuff, but our girl is a badass. That's what we need. Number 8, Vermeil in Gold. <laughs> Ah, yes. Magic, demons, summonings, mana transfer, and jealousy. Is this some spin-off of fate? Here we have Alto, a boy who is not very skilled in magic, but ends up summoning the sealed demon Vermeil. Is this the end of the story? Nope, because we have childhood friends. As Vermeil glows closer to our boy Alto, his childhood friend starts to grow more and more jealous. <laughs> Now, what's interesting about this story is the whole mana transfer part. It gives you this Fate Stay Night vibes. Remember the dragons? Well, you won't get dragons in this one, but our girl can be a badass when she needs to. Similar to Yusibu, there is the theme of being a demon and suffering the consequence of it theme kicking in, so the show can get serious at times as well. Oh, and the boy isn't much of a main character, just go for the girls. Number 7, Darwin's Game. Time for some death games. Come on, don't you love people killing each other with a badass girl by their side? Uh, let me know down below in the comments if that's what you like. Just as the name implies, this anime is about a strange death game where participants have to kill the other party in order to come out as the victor of the game. Oh. Uh, oh. The protagonist of the series, Sudo Kaname, is both a genius and a cutting tactician, and the story tells how he survives these mysterious death games with the help of some newly formed friends. And of course, these friends include a girl. Karino is that perfect mixture of obsessive yandere and badass girl. Just watch the anime. You'll see how she's the perfect sidekick for a death game. Number 6, Witchcraft Works. <laughs> Time for some Harry Potter with less broomsticks and more anime girl action. The story has this following Honoka Takemiya, your normal high school student who finds himself in the lucky position of sharing the bus, sitting next to the publicly dubbed princess of Togetsu High School, Ayaka Kagari. While things were normally for Honoka, things took a turn when he was attacked from nowhere by a mysterious witch. Huh? 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 Huh?
But guess what? The girl who sits beside him by the bus is a witch too. And despite the main character being whiny, she still wants to be his bodyguard. She doesn't even need a monthly salary. Is it that great? Even for a show that has a lot of romance, this has some great animation. There are a lot of witch battles going on here, so you could definitely watch this show for the action as well. Number five, Val X Love. Time for some Norse mythology. But this is the anime we're speaking about, so you know they are going to twist it in some way. So what's the twist? Well, these girls are Valkyries, and they live in the same house as our guy. <laughs> Just like every harem title that has the letter X in it, this one has every girl simping for our guy who is just lucky to be there because he's an anime man character. Remember when I said these girls were Valkyries? Yeah, so being badass automatically comes with it. There's some great action here and there, but if you're going to watch this for the serious story, then this probably isn't the show for you. Need a fun action romance harem Norse mythology show? Well, then you should be watching this one. Number four, Joromungand. I have to recap of this on my second channel, at least the first part, so make sure to check that out if you're too bored to watch the anime. And this time we have a kid who is not very family friendly. Treat this guy like a punching bag and the next thing you know, he's killed everyone in the room. Dramungand is about Koko Hekimatar, a young arms dealer who does illegal business. Koko is smart and a badass, but there is also a bigger badass in here, Jonah. Jonah is recruited as a child soldier, but soon displays skills to match a grown man. He is quick on his feet, has good precision in his guns, and gives the boy five minutes and he'll drop dead bodies more than you can count. Dramungand is popular for its fast paced action and having tons and tons and tons and tons Tons of gunfights. So yeah, it's basically like every Hollywood blockbuster ever made. Number three, Vanitas no Carte. <laughs> Don't confuse this with Jean with the Fate Jean because those are two completely different characters. Vanitas has one of those confusing premises where they try to shove a lot of concepts to you at once and then balances everything as the story moves along. I mean, here we have vampires, a pandemic, a strange human, more vampires, a guy who has a very bad character to design, and uh, top it all off, a vampire soon train. <laughs> That's right, gentlemen, we have a vampire who is obsessed with a human. This is also one of those shows that has the enemies turning lovers trope, and at first these two want to kill each other, but then the girls go crazy for the guy, and she's like, screw it, I'll drink his blood instead. Number two, High School of the Dead. <laughs> I know there are a couple of girls here, but the one we should speak about is Seiko, because she is the most skilled one in the group compared to the rest of the girls. Do you need an introduction about High School of the Dead? If you've forgotten, it's that high school anime where a group of teenagers must fight a bunch of zombies while suffering from your good old teenage problems. The anime is directed by the same guy who directed Attack on Titan, so go expecting some great action scenes as well. <laughs> But what about the plot? <laughs> well, we definitely have a plot, but in terms of actual plot, the story is pretty weak. But there is romance, there is action, there is a ton of gore and blood, so you get the full package. Number one, Mirai Nikki. <laughs> Hey, 
how can we finish this list without mentioning the number one baddest Yandre of all time? Because if we don't, she will come and kill us all. Mirai Nikki or Future Diary is about a boy named Yukiteru Amano who is forced into a battle royale with 12 other opponents. Each of them gets a diary which has its own power. The one Yuki gets is the Future Diary, a diary that can predict any event that is happening in the future. <laughs> Turns out the diary isn't the problem, it's the girl who comes along with it. Soon Yuki finds this mysterious girl called Yuno joining forces with him to defeat the other opponents. And even though this girl looks cute and all, he soon finds out that she doesn't hesitate to murder anyone who gets in her way. If you love death games, romance, and Yandre scaring you at night, then this is the show for you.